What makes a thunderstorm? How hot is lightning? And which is louder, thunder or a chainsaw? Thunderstorms in the UK can occur at any time of year, but the most severe usually occur in the summer months, and particularly after a couple of days of hot, humid and sunny weather. Thunder and lightning come from just one type of cloud, the grandest of all the clouds, a cumulonimbus. This cloud goes from near the ground all the way up to where the jet planes fly, so they are around 9 or 10 kilometres deep, but some are even taller. Made of a, a mix of water droplets and ice crystals, you may think they look like candy floss, but they can weigh 1 million tonnes, or more than 100,000 elephants. These huge clouds are turbulent things. The air is rushing and whizzing all over the place with updrafts and downdrafts inside the cloud. The mix of hail, ice and water all milling around inside the QNIM generates static electricity, a bit like when you rub a balloon on your hair. Everything gets charged because as the heavier hail falls through the cloud, it clashes with the smaller ice and water particles that are getting pushed up by the strong updrafts. In these clashes, the hail picks up some electrons from the rising ice particles, making them negatively charged. And as they pool around the base of the cloud, the whole cloud is now negatively charged at the bottom and positively charged at the top, where the smaller ice particles that have lost their electrons are sitting. The bottom of the cloud, with its negative charge, now creates a positive charge on the ground because it, it repels the negative charge here. Now, unlike, say, metal, air isn't a very good conductor of electricity, so you need a big charge to build up. But once it gets big enough, Boom! You have a spark. It gets discharged very quickly. Quick as a flash, in fact. And that flash is the lightning. So that's the light part, but what makes the sound? Well, lightning is hot, very hot, in fact. At around 30,000 Celsius, it's about five times hotter than the surface of the sun. Lightning is also narrow. It heats up a channel of air a little wider than your thumb. Heat makes stuff expand, and that small channel of air gets bigger because of the huge jump in temperature. And it's that expansion, so quick and so extreme, that pushes the air out rapidly. That creates a, a sonic shock wave or a, a sound wave, and that is what we hear as thunder. Now you probably know that you see a flash of lightning before you hear the rumble of thunder, and that is because light travels much, much faster than sound. But sound is still pretty speedy at around 340 meters per second. The general rule, if you count the time between the flash and the bang, is that for every three seconds, that's a kilometer. That's how far away the lightning flash was. So, for example, if there was nine seconds between the flash and the bang, then you know that it occurred about three kilometers away. Not only does the time between lightning and thunder tell you how far away the storm is, so does how loud that rumble is. But how loud is that rumble? If you were right next to the lightning strike, well, Quite frankly, you'd have bigger things to worry about than how loud the thunder is. But it would be around 120 to 140 decibels, which is actually roughly pretty similar to a chainsaw. That kind of noise level could damage your ears if you are exposed to it for a while. But of course, most of the time, you're not right next to a lightning strike and it doesn't last very long. Now, interestingly, how long the rumble lasts for also tells you a little bit about how far away it is due to the way the sound waves change as they travel through the air. If you're close to the lightning strike, you're more likely to get a short, loud crack, whereas further away, you get a lower, longer rumble. If you can hear thunder, you should get to a safe place. Now, 
inside a building is best, but if you are stuck outside, find the most open space away from trees, poles and water sources. Squat on the ground as close to the ground as possible with your hands on your knees on your head tucked between them. Try and touch as little of the ground as possible. Do not lie on the ground. Lightning hitting objects on the Earth's surface is the most familiar and the most dangerous type of lightning. But many more, between around five and ten times more in fact, lightning strikes never reach the ground. They either stay in the same cumulonimbus cloud or occur between different clouds. And one more thing to think about, 1.4 billion lightning strikes hit the Earth's surface every year. That's 44 strikes per second. So more than 10,000 have occurred since the start of this video.